Hello, welcome back to my channel. My name is Liana if you're new and today I'm gonna take you through a day in my life <laughs> Today is Friday. I do have school today um, The plan is to go to class then go to discussion then go to the gym and then after I come home I'm gonna meal prep be a really productive day <laughs> Where I'm gonna be like a good student. I actually go to class. I skipped class yesterday. I'm in my gym clothes because Honestly, gymming is like the main event of the day, I guess. Um, I used to think that like wearing gym clothes to school and like to class was a little bit bummy, but I'm a fourth year now and I don't care anymore. So <laughs> this is the outfit of the day. Um, these are the new Alpha Elite Aero leggings. There's really no reason for me to show you, but I like them and this is my channel. So <laughs> I really like them. They're really comfortable. I think they're really worth the money, which I'm glad because I paid like $74 for these. Of course, they're a fraction of the price of normal Lululemon leggings, so who am I to complain? <laughs> so I already put on my makeup. I decided not to spend too much time on it today. Um, just eyebrows and some highlight. I didn't forget the sunscreen. Also, I put on some concealer to conceal those bags. <laughs> At this point, I make it to the kitchen and I make sure to do the dishes from yesterday. Usually, I try to do them the day of, but sometimes, sometimes you just leave the dishes. <laughs> then I go ahead and pop an onion bagel into the toaster and get started on making my breakfast. There's this one cool trick that I learned from this random cooking show like when I was like eight. Um, basically, it was this dude who like exclusively cooks eggs. Um, and like he shows us different strategies on how to like cook different types of egg dishes um, and basically one of the strategies was that you can when you're frying when you have an egg in a frying pan you can put a little bit of water on it just to make it like a little bit fluffier I have no idea what I'm doing do not copy me I have no credentials at all I just do whatever I feel like and the eggs get cooked so <laughs> yeah that's just the way I happen to like them and then I take this like seven layer bean dip or something from the grocery store and I just get two big spoonfuls of that and the warmth of the eggs and the bagels are like a really good contrast to the coolness of the dip and also I get some yogurt which is also really cold so um, it's like a nice balance and I find that this breakfast makes me full for a good amount of time usually on Fridays I don't really get to eat lunch until like 2 so it's good Okay, so now we have our breakfast, onion bagel, two scoops of that dip from the grocery store, some eggs, and Chobani yogurt, and I may have some beef jerky after all of this. Got my water. Oh, and I also recently started doing this thing um, where I marked my water bottle with times so I can keep track of how much water I'm drinking and make sure that I'm drinking enough. Um, yeah, so according to the internet, you're supposed to drink half your body weight in ounces so if I weigh 120 pounds that means I have to drink 60 ounces of water every day and um, this one bottle one standard water bottle is usually 32 ounces so I make sure to drink two whole bottles and yeah stay hydrated kids that's how you get good skin <laughs> so I have an entire hour before I have to leave uh, my class is at 9, um, so what I usually do now is watch some Netflix. Everything in that plate has been eaten, and I like to save the yogurt for last. It's a little bit of a refreshing finisher to breakfast, I guess. Okay, so by some miracle, I'm the first one in the classroom which is great, this never happened. So this is what the classroom looks like. We're gonna have a productive day. I'm gonna pay attention in class, not filming class. Um, the next time I'll probably see you is maybe on the way to the gym or maybe in the gym. Um, so yeah, it is like 8, 40 something right now. People should be filing in soon, 9 a.m. class, unless it got canceled and I didn't know about it. Also, I managed to fit my entire barbell pad in my backpack. This is a big deal. It's huge, and my backpack is like not that big, but it, it's pretty big compared to like other people's backpacks. So now I don't have to bring my whole gym bag to school. The only reason I really bring my gym bag to school is because 
this is this used to be too big to fit in my backpack because I would always like pack my lunch in here. Um, but recently, or this quarter, I'm lucky enough to like get to eat lunch at home every day. Okay, so I made it to the gym. I'm in the dance room. This is my favorite room because usually nobody's really in it. And I like to use it to just stretch and warm up and also this great big mirror for like mirror selfies. I don't know how much I'm gonna be able to film of my workout today because usually it's like a really involved process of trying to film. I'm not completely comfortable with just like being super open with like setting my camera down and just like working out in front of it. Like there's a lot of people moving around and you need a lot of space to record and I don't really have anybody to help me so I don't feel like super comfortable doing that just yet. Um, but if you do wanna see like a full leg workout, I have a couple of those on my channel already. Um, and if you've seen those videos, um, I used to work out with my friend Teresa. I don't work out with her anymore because she graduated. She's a year older than me. I miss you, Teresa. Ah! Um, so yeah, I, I just usually work out by myself now, which means nobody to film my stuff, uh, but that's okay. Um, so yeah, if you wanna see a workout, a leg workout, then go to my channel for sure. Um, so for now, I'm just gonna do a few warm ups and some stretches and um, yeah. Last week, um, uh, this girl came up to me in the gym and she's like, hey, you're in my discussion. She said hi and like we talked for a little bit and that was really cool. Um, I really like it when people are friendly, like it makes me really happy. Over the past few years, I've kind of forgotten how to like make new friends. Like when I was a freshman, um, I used to like go up to random people and just like introduce myself and stuff. But now I've gotten like a lot more shy and introverted, I guess. I guess like as, like when you're a freshman, it's just like a lot more, <laughs> It's a lot easier because you know you're in like that mode of like going to a new place that's not familiar and like all the people around you like they're not familiar with the area as well. Um, but yeah, that was really cool. She's a second year, um, and yeah, I may have made a new friend. <laughs> Social anxiety at its finest. Okay, so at this point, I had to leave the dance room because I just didn't want to be in there anymore. And I continued my activation exercises inside the gym, and then I proceeded to do the following workout. I'm so sorry that I didn't get to record any of it. I guess it was just really crowded, and I was feeling really socially anxious, and um, I just wanted to like do my workout without worrying about like camera angles or whatever. So, yeah. <laughs> I do have two full leg workouts on my channel, so if you want to check those out, feel free. I will link those down below. The workout has been finished. I am in the other dance room now because someone else is in the other one. Um, there's only two. <laughs> Thankfully, this one was empty. So I did not film anything from the workout today because the gym was really crowded. I was feeling really self-conscious and um, yeah. <laughs> After all those people walked in, I'm just like, no, but no, I'm done. But it was a pretty good workout. I feel like I finally got my mojo back. It's been a really long time since I've been motivated at all. Um, and usually I'm like always looking at the clock, trying to see like if it's been an hour and a half already or like an hour already. And today was like the first time in a really long time that I worked out for an hour and a half without looking at the time and just like not worrying about the time and like not worrying about whether or not my workout was long enough and it felt pretty good. I focused my butt today. Um, I realized that I do not work out my gluteus medius enough. 
and apparently working it out is gonna help me like get some hips um, I don't really care about my hip dips that much but <laughs> I mean, gotta work out the butt, you know? So now I'm going to just do like a little cool down, um, do some more banded exercises just to like burn out the butt. And then um, I think we're gonna do abs today. And recently what I've been doing is I just do, um, I just do one, I just pick one ab exercise and I do it for the length of an entire song. Um, <laughs> and that's like three minutes of like one ab workout and then um, I pick another ab workout and do another song so that's like six minutes so it's like a six minute little ab workout um, I've been a little too lazy to do like circuits recently so that's just what I've been doing this resistance band is literally about to break like this is the last of that set of five that I got like two years ago um, <laughs> I don't know I'm just gonna use it until it breaks That's a wrap from me today. I am gonna go home now and when I get home I'm going to start cooking because I am out of meals and I need to stop eating frozen chimichangas for meals. So we're walking back down the same way I came up and um, yeah just wanted to say that uh, this girl came up to me at the gym today and she was asking about my leggings and she was also wearing the off elite leggings and so we fangirled about leggings for a little bit and then she comp complimented my form which was really nice I think it's really sweet okay so I finally made it home and I literally do not have any meals prepared so I am going to eat this gigantic bowl of frozen dumplings why does it look really gross um, I just boiled them and I poured some Maggi seasoning over them if you don't know what Maggi seasoning is Go to your nearest Asian grocery store and get some because it's freaking good. It's like soy sauce, but like not really. So if you like soy sauce, you'll like Maggie seasoning. Um, so yeah, I'm just gonna chill. I'm gonna eat this, watch some Netflix. I love Netflix. And then we're gonna get cooking. We're gonna take a quick intermission from the day to show you what I've been doing recently. This is a new hobby of mine. This is called the kalimba. It's uh, a traditional African instrument. I know two songs. Um, I'm gonna play one just to like include in the video for funsies. Um, I may mess up, but I think that's okay. <laughs>
Let me know if you know that song. Um, it is very near and dear to my heart. It is from one of my favorite childhood Chinese dramas and I've been wanting to learn this song ever since I was like eight. I used to play the Chinese zither. Honestly, I kind of miss it. During that time, my mom was forcing me to do it and there's not really any enjoyment in being forced to do something. But now I miss it and I don't even know how to play anymore. I picked this up. I got it from AliExpress for $13. Um, also, I've been mainly learning from April Yang who is also a YouTuber and she posts a lot of kalimba covers and um, sheet music and tabs which is really cool I learned the song from one of the videos that she uploaded um, I'll link it down below in case you're interested and I'll link where I got my kalimba from if you're also interested yeah anyway just wanted to share my new pastime with you guys playing music is like very soothing and it helps me calm down when I feel like frustrated or like angry or something and also I think I'd be really good at this because I text really fast and I also type really fast okay so now it is several several hours later um, I took a break from filming because my camera battery needed to charge and in the meantime I meal prepped I cooked some chicken some bell peppers and um, some asparagus and some brown rice and that's just what I'm gonna be having for the next week I made about like eight meals. Oh god, I feel like I'm allergic to something on this couch, like maybe dust or something. <laughs> oh god. Every time I sit here, I get allergies. But yeah, um, after I finished meal prepping, Josh came home, so I wanted to spend some time with him. And then he had to go to hang out with his friends. So I'm just home by myself. <laughs> and I've just been watching Netflix and um, eating tortilla chips. <laughs> and now it is like almost 8 30. Today was pretty cool. It's always a lot of fun filming Kind of brings a little more excitement into a mundane day. If you made it this far in the video Thank you so much for sticking around um, And watching till the end appreciate you. I hope you enjoy the video and um, I'm just gonna end it here tomorrow morning I'm gonna be editing this and hopefully get it out by 12 which is The time that I usually try to get it out in maybe another half hour. I'm gonna take a shower brush my teeth and go to bed because I am tired. <laughs> Overall, I would say not that bad of a day. Thanks for spending it with me. Bye, I'll see you next week.